What I mean by strong is it's simple and easy to sh prove that you are right at that moment. And that's the difficulty with copyright because you don't have to register. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Hi, welcome. Welcome in this video. Like you know, in this series of videos, I will ask uh, a couple of questions about copyright in the US. The question that we're going to discuss in today's video is how is copyright different from patent or trademark? So we're going to talk about this. I'm going to show you how the system works so you can get an idea. Okay, this is patent, this is trademark, and this is copyright. Simple, right? So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions about this, just go on the Discord and ask me directly. And if you want to support this kind of content or if you want to support the channel, in the description below, you'll find a link where you can donate a coffee or a book. Feel free to press the link. I'm waiting. No joke. Let's talk about this. So let's go to the drawing board. So when you talk about copyright and trademark and patent, technically those are three systems. If you understand how the system works, you also understand how those three things work. And you also understand when to take action when you have copyright or when to take action when you have trademark or when to take action when you have patent i'm not going to discuss everything in details but i'm going to show you how it works simple right so first thing first what you need to keep in mind is you have three systems yeah so we're going to talk about three systems we have the copyright system we have the trademark system and we have the patent system Technically, if you have a patent, that means you pay a lot of money for it. You have some people that advise you in that case. And I'm not going to discuss all the things here, but technically it's all about technical things, intellectual property about technical things. What you need to keep in mind is if you talk about copyright, trademark, patent, and other intellectual property, they all combine, you call it intellectual property. Yeah. What it is, I will explain it in another video, but not today. What you need to keep in mind is these are three separate systems. Sometimes they go together, but sometimes they not. But here we have three system. And what you need to keep in mind is those three system always work like this. You have a right, that's A. You have someone that holds those rights, that's B. And C, someone, the third person that want to use those rights. So you always have these three persons. Let me give you an example. When I create a picture, I have copyright on a picture. So the picture itself is a work where I have copyright on it. So those thing is A. I am the copyright holder, I'm B. Imagine you want to use this picture, then you are C. So I give an example about copyright. Let's talk about trademark. Let's say I register my name as a trademark. So my name is a trademark, it's a right that I have. In the law, I can find out what I can do with that right. So that's A. B, I'm the trademark holder. So I hold those rights. You can find it in the system. In the system, you will see, hey, that's his name and he's a trademark holder. I'll also explain that in another video. And C, if you want to use my trademark, you need to ask permission. That's C. Or if you use it without my permission, then I can sue you. You're still C. You understand that? So in these two cases, I show you how you can use ABC. Same apply for patent. When you have a patent, you have to set the kind of rights for technology. You are a patent holder. And if someone wants to use your rights, they need to have permission. And then you are C. You understand that? Not, in this case, you are not C, but the person that wants to use your right is C. I hope you understand what I mean. So if you look at those three things, what are the different? When you look at copyright, copyright is the basic. Trademark is more for a brand. Patent is more for technology. Yeah? What you see most time in uh, daily life, it's about copyright. When you talk about big companies or companies that focus more on your brand, you see the trademark. And patent, if you have a technology company, most time they focus on all three, but they focus more on the patent. Yeah? So, what are the different? When you look at copyright, in the law you will find, most of the time you will see that copyright exists automatically. So that means when you create something, you get copyright. So if you don't have this, if you don't have this, there's a chance you have copyright, right? The problem and the difference between these two is, these three is, 
this too you have a system where you need to register so if you have a trademark or if you want a trademark you need to register you need to go through a whole process in order to get a trademark same apply for a patent that's why these two rights are really strong because when you get it you have a really strong right what i mean by strong is it's simple and easy to sh prove that you have right at that moment and that's the difficulty with copyright because you don't have to register it's an option sometimes it's hard for people to prove that they have copyright at a certain kind of moment but trademark as soon as you go to the process and you get the trademark you have it same apply for patent i hope you understand and hope you can follow so here you have two systems where you need to register them you need to follow the requirements you need to fire the process and if you get a positive result then you have those rights if you don't have a positive result then you do not have the rights let me give you an example if you try to register a trademark and it got rejected you're not you don't have a trademark same apply for a patent so you need to follow the whole process and if you don't get it you don't get it so you pay money you do not get it hopefully you understand but well, copyright is not a story if you meet the requirements of copyright you have copyright on it but you need to prove that you meet the requirements of copyright and that's sometimes difficult and that's why sometimes people prefer to register their copyright so they can be like hey on that date i had copyright on that date i create that i hope you see the difference here so copyright you do not need to register and trademark and patent you need to register you need to follow the, the process and what you need to keep in mind is for every system you have different kind of laws so for copyright you have a law about that for trademark you have a law about that for patent you have a law about that so let's recap so i hope you have an idea about how this work it can be really difficult but just keep in mind copyright you do not need to register patent and trademark you need to register you need to follow whole process you need to pay in order to start that process and keep in mind copyright uh, exists automatically but it's hard to prove that you were the first one that's the difficulty when about copyright if you have question about this just go on the discord and ask me directly if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content subscribe if you want to support the channel you can find the link in the description you can buy us some coffee or buy us some books or become a member of a community i will see you in the next video i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be